Man, last part was just a drag. I can't believe I screwed up on the easy way out. Then again, too many complications. But for right now, today I'm going to take on Roblon and Goliath. First, let's talk to Barong, which is Goliath's petitioner. Oh, and Roblon's petitioner is not too far away. That's the only reason why I'm here. Barong is a writer of bestiaries. Which would probably explain if he actually written this bestiary, why Vossler isn't on it. But anyway, he's asking Vaughn to go to the Necro Hall of Nabudis so he can fill out the entry for Goliath in his bestiary. Honestly, you want me to go to a dangerous place just so you can fill out a bestiary and you can get money? You're worse than the spoiled brat and his parents! But anyway, what Barring is trying to tell you is Goliath will appear right in the entrance from the Nebraeus Deadlands of the Necro Hall of Nabodies. So in short, we have to go to Nebraeus Deadlands anyway. And this is Morgan, who is Roblon's petitioner. There's much to be explained about Morgan, but he wants Roblon to be destroyed. And that's pretty much all there is to it. And he even lays the guilt trip of killing the golem for an old man. Still, where, where the guy just described is Overlook's Eternity. Yeah, that's the place where we got the medallions for Chaos Fury and Humbaba. So let's go to the Necro Halls. Ah, we already found Goliath. See, he's right at the entrance from the Necro Halls. A uh, bad thing is, however, uh, Goliath puts a magic barrier on himself. So Goliath is immune to magic, even though the man's weak against dark, or the monster's weak against dark. Even though, yeah, even though he's weak against dark. He can't be touched with magic for the time being. So you can just have to pummel him to death. But first let me get rid of these annoying Bakunami. Or Bakagami as I call him. Which of course, there's a reason why I call him that. Because Baka means stupid in Japan. I just don't know. I just nicknamed them that. Anyway, now that those annoying goblins are gone, it'd be best to try to put protect on yourselves at all times. Because this thing is a bitch. It is a straight up bitch. It can hurt you with gravity, and that's one thing that it's been spamming for the most of the majority of the fight. Oh great, now it's lowered its defense. I mean, lowered your... Okay, let me calm down. It's raised its defense. So now, most of the hits you've done to it will do 10% of what they used to do. That, and he also has Protect on... Well, he lost the Protect. It's only a matter of time before we actually take him down. You're just delaying the inevitable. Well, he's no longer immune to magic. However, it doesn't matter. He's dead.
Yeah, let's just skate this ass and get it over with. Yep, done. Dead. Finish. Now that's one pest from the Necro Hall alone I have to deal with. I have only one more to go, but before I do, let's take a trip to the Nebraeus Deadlands. So we can go over to face Raw Blonde. And now, after a fast transition, I mean really fast, fast, sorry, we're now in Overlook Eternity. Remember that place, folks? Well, we're here, and so is Roblon. So let's go on ahead and start this fight, shall we? In the cheapest way I know how. Now I can finally redeem myself. Well, at least it's sapped, so that just means Roblon will eventually die. Or is guaranteed to die, one of the two. Now. That's pretty much the gambit, basically. Have whoever's your hardest hitter focus on Roblon. And everyone else focus on the skeletons. Lest you worry about them, the easier it is on you to take down Roblon. Besides, Roblon's already hit with sap, so he won't have so you don't have to worry about him. Slow slap, uh, slow sap and blind. Wow. Oh, and the son of a bitch has Firga. Oh, great, just great. Ah, uh, just absolutely frickin' dandy. Ugh. I really, really hate Fierga. Yeah, let's see if I can siphon from this thing. Doubt I can. But it's worth a shot. Ah, you dick. Not again. Stop stealing my magic. I, I, I just said stop stealing my magic, bitch. Anyway, basically, all you pretty much have to do to keep as much pressure. Oh, sweet Jesus. What the hell just happened? Oh, it just used gravity. Well, that'll just be more stuff for me to sell. But anyway, the sap is slowly but surely doing its course on Roblon. It's almost dead. But if Roblon wasn't blind and sapped, this would be a challenge. Or slowed for that matter. This would be a definite challenge. Because Roblon will increase its attack speed right before it dies.
It's almost dead. Just give it a little bit more time. It should die. There we go. Sweet. Now let's return back to no to Nelpa the Fortress to get the rewards for both. Alright, and we're back. First, let's get the reward for Goliath. Ugh. Yes, and for slaying the Goliath, let's see what we get. Hopefully something good. Oh, don't worry, you'll find out the mystery behind Jovi a little later. Basically, you have to get rid of all the hunts in Albana in order for to find out what's the deal with Jovi and why is he's interested in people's business. Anyway, or I'll just spoil it for you in a couple of parts. No big deal. But anyway, let's see. Let's see the prize already. You gotta be kidding me. A save the queen. Yes, folks, you can get a save the queen for free for beating. Yeah, you get a save the queen for free from beating Goliath. So let's see what we get from beating Roblon. Wait, Roblon was made by a son? And because his son died, the golem went on a rampage. Oh, that's just great. Man, it's messed up. People cause marks. Period. Ugh. But let's see what we get from this hunt. All right. Lay it on me, old man! What do we get? Giant Summon- Oh, fuck you! I don't need that! Oh, yeah, and we're not done yet. I just realized I got an up- No, I went up in rank. After the last couple of hunts. So, let's go get the reward for my new rank. And get that little ingrate Mont Blanc. I hope you're not angry with me for using you to lure out the Hunter Stalkers, Cuckoo. Talk may be cheap, but you must believe me. I would never have done such a thing if I didn't have complete faith in your success. Oh, bullshit! Like with Yeast Mat. I didn't doubt you for a moment. Bullshit! Still, I'm sorry for putting you in harm's way. But you are, here you are, safe and sound. And I do hope this won't give a second thought about continuing our work. Yeah. Damn it, I go too fast. So, anyway, I got a new rank. It doesn't matter. But I'm also going to accept two other hunts, too. To try to end this. First of all, I'm going to accept Dixion because, well... That's all. Other than the next hunt that I'm doing, that's the only other hunt that I'll have to show off as far as the, uh... Pharos is concerned. But in order for me to even do this hunt, I'm gonna have to set up another hunt. Still, I can't believe that little bastard put me through that. Yeah, this is the Shadow Seer petition, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't show it to you when I first fought the Shadow Seer in episode 5, but. Mont Blanc is the asshole that gives you the petitioner. And he asks you twice if you want to take on this petition. 
That must mean the Shadow Seer is absolutely annoying, just like Yzmat. Yeah, actually, he asked you three times, but still. You really put me through hell, you know that? And I probably only have to see your stupid face at least two more times. Nonetheless... With activating the Shadow Seer's Hunt, now I can go after Phoenix. And actually open a way for Ixion. But I'll be dealing with that later. In the meantime, I better cowboy up for the next episode. Because this one's going to be a doozy. It's Power Raster in Part 138. This is RV Man 985 Oh boy, this one's going to be fun. See you guys next time.